Do you want to win a Pixel phone? Stick around, I'll show you how. G'day guys, Shane Watson here today. We're talking about the Pixel 6 versus the iPhone 13 with taking photos of the stars. We know that with the Pixel, what it does, it takes a four minute photo with this astrophotography mode and it stacks 16 second images on top of each other. So it basically eliminates the noise and the iPhone does it three photos of 10 seconds each and does the same sort of thing. And you get results like this. And I would say that in some scenarios, one is definitely better than the other and vice versa. In other scenarios, the other one's better. And I would say that those scenarios is that when there's more stars in a photo the pixel is always better but which one took this photo the pixel or the iPhone you tell me it's going to be a little bit hard to tell because both of these are well and truly over 30 seconds worth of photos did you work it out this one is from the pixel and this one is from the iphone but not with the regular iphone camera app so a little while ago i did a video all about this nocturne app and it's an app that you use for older iphones to take photos like a pixel to take photos of the stars and it's a very bloody good app it's free i'll link it down the bottom there in the description and a lot of you guys ask me shane how does this work on the newer iphone well, this is how it works. So firstly, for the Pixel, it's a matter of just putting it on a tripod, going to night mode. If it's dark enough, it's going to give you the option for astrophotography mode. Touch a star, push the star button or the shutter button, and it's going to take a four minute long photo and it's going to stack all those images and give you a nice result at the end of it. And the newer versions of Android on the Pixel is also going to give you that two second time lapse when you do that as well. There are some scenarios though that this just won't work. If there's a little bit of light in the photo, like this photo here, the Pixel won't actually give us astrophotography mode, and that's a bit of a bummer. But the iPhone with the Nocturne app will still give us a couple of minutes worth of photos. Doesn't do it that well though. So this is not going to work in every scenario, but it will work in very dark scenarios. Now with the iPhone with the Nocturne app, all you need to do again is put it on a tripod. Don't even need to focus. Put it on a tripod, open the app, hit the start button, and that's it. You just wait. It focuses, it stacks it all automatically. The only downside is that it gives you this bloody watermark down the bottom, but you can fix that up later on. So my findings are as such. In scenarios where you can't really see too many stars, there's some stars up there, there's a bit of cloud moving around, the iPhone camera app is probably the best app you can get to do that sort of photos. The computational photography in that is next level. It's really, really impressive. When it's very dark skies, the Pixel will absolutely have it. it. Takes a little while longer, but if you do have an iPhone, use that Nocturne app and you're going to get very, very similar results as what the Pixel can get. Let's talk about this Pixel phone, how I'm gonna give it away. We're gonna give it away on the 18th of December. That's not really far away at all. And you need to be a subscriber on this channel and you need to be in the live stream that we're doing on the 18th of December. Uh, if you are a member of this channel and you've got a join button down the bottom there somewhere, if you're a member on this channel, you don't actually physically need to be in that live stream. I'm just going to put you in the ent in the entry pool uh, regardless if you're there or not. So members get in automatically. Everyone else, you're going to need to physically be there in the chat in that live stream. And I'm going to send this phone anywhere in the world and you can take some absolutely ripper astrophotography photos with this phone. And don't forget our regular live stream is coming up this weekend uh, and I've got a very special guest coming on this weekend. Haven't been on before and uh, it's going to be a nice insight to different things that are happening around the world. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later.